Hey guys, it's Dave here from Creative Path Films and today I'm gonna to help you to avoid tripping a circuit breaker when you're shooting out on location with a very simple formula. There is nothing more embarrassing than being out on a set, shooting the best scene of the day and then boom, all the power goes out because you've tripped a circuit breaker. Now this is a less common problem these days with these highly efficient LED fixtures, but if you want to be able to make use of power hungry tungsten and HMI lights, then this is definitely one to keep in your back pocket. Before we get to the formula, you'll need to know a couple of things. First, you'll need to identify the amperage of your location's circuit breakers. To find this, you'll need to locate the mains switchboard. Open it up and you'll see all the circuit breakers. They're usually fairly well labeled. In Australia, we most commonly use 10 amp circuits in most households, and we use 15, 20, or 32 amp circuits in commercial properties. Google tells me that 15 and 20 amp circuits are the most common in the United States. But if this is incorrect, please let me know down in the comments and I'll post an update. Next, you'll need to find out the wattage of the lights and other devices that you want to plug in. Lastly, you'll need to know the AC voltage of the country that you're shooting in. Here in Australia, it's 240 volts, and in the US, it's 120 volts. Now that we're equipped with all of this information, let's have a look at our formula, which is called Watt's Law, as well as an easy visual to help you remember it. First, I want you to imagine a triangle, and then I want you to divide that triangle into three different sections. In our top section, we have our watts. In our bottom two sections, we have our volts and our amps. Next, draw a solid line between the watts compartment and the other two compartments and put an X between volts and amps. Once you've got this triangle, then what you do is you just cover up the value that you want to find out. If you want to find out watts, it's volts times amps. If you want to find out amps, it's watts divided by volts. And if you want to find out volts, it's watts divided by amps. All right, now let's put this into practice. I'm shooting out on location in a household, and I want to know how many watts I can draw per circuit. I'm shooting in Australia, so I know our voltage is 240 volts, and I've checked the circuit breaker, and I can confirm that the house runs on 10 amp circuits. So 240 times 10 equals 2,400 watts, and this is the amount of power that I have available. In today's shoot, I'm using three times Arilite 800 tungsten lights, which each draw 800 watts, so 2,400 watts in total. Now you might think, okay, sweet, I'm good to go. And you just plug in all of those three lights. But if you do that, there's a very good chance that you will blow a circuit in the middle of a take. And this is because we haven't factored in any of the other electrical devices that might be plugged in to that circuit. Things like fridges, microwaves, TVs, lamps, etc. Just to be safe, I'd plug in two lights into the room that I'm shooting in and run the third out to a separate room on a different circuit just to give me that extra buffer. I'd also want to factor in other power hungry departments such as hair and makeup or catering and make sure that they have circuits all of their own because nothing trips a breaker faster than a couple of tungsten lights and a hairdryer. So there you have it, a quick and easy way to work out how many watts you have available to you when you're shooting out on location. If you learned something today, make sure to let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. And if you have any questions at all, let me know down in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you see more videos just like this one. We put out new videos every single week. Thanks for watching guys, see you next time.